Hello, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well today. I'm going to be doing another Stardew Valley video. I really like playing Stardew Valley. It's a really fun game. I was just kind of looking over the menu and everything before we got started. Give me just a minute, you guys. Uh, let's see here. Okay. We should be good to go. So we got some more jam. Let's go check to see how our animals are doing today. Oh, we got some corn down here. Oops, sorry guys, my phone uh, went off. I guess somebody sent me a message. Oh, how you doing, Moo Moo? Let's see, you got some milk. Um, move our iron fence down so we can pick up some hay. I just like filling it up and when I only have like one. Oh, hey there, Lisa Snell. How are you doing today? I have no clue yet. Um, I'm sure she's probably doing pretty crazy like normal. Considering how the last one went, probably. I've been kind of drowsy today. Hold on, I need to grab my phone. Where in the world did it go? I just had the darn thing. Huh, that's weird. I don't know where I would have set my phone. I literally just heard it go off. Uh... Never mind, I found it. It slipped in the floor. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Did you get any good Pokemon cards? I haven't played for Pokemon cards in years myself. Oh, we got a nice little egg here. Out of Bob. I guess we'll feed Bob. My controller's acting up a little bit there. Oh, that sounds awesome. Um, which legendary holo card did you get? Also, I know this is usually a little early for my stream times, but I was thankfully awake today to do that. And in one more day, we'll be able to give gifts again, so maybe we'll get another heart with Sabrina. Uh, that in there. I'll keep the pomegranate. I think I need the pomegranate for... Uh, one of the community center things. I wish I knew which Pokemon that was. Sadly, I stopped following like a few generations ago, so I, I'm not really familiar anymore. But that's awesome, though. Nothing down there. Nothing over here. I'm going to try to get some uh, grass, hay, and stuff. Should be good on that. Let's go up north. Let's um check to see if that could be used. Uh, we could put the corn in the fall crops bundle, I guess. Also, fun fact about the animal thing, you can see there's meat here. And that's because of the mod. <laughs> Oh, so it's like the newest generation then. That's awesome. Yeah, the artisan bundles where we can use the thing. 
นี่ I'm probably gonna go into the mine because that's usually my go-to during the day. Also, I'm kind of excited. I may have found a Grand Theft Auto RP server to play on. I don't know how good it is, but I may check it out, like, on a stream or something. I'm not sure yet. Also, my controller is getting a lot of interference today for some reason over the Bluetooth. It probably doesn't help my Bluetooth. The uh, USB stick thing is, like, really, really old. Yeah, I like doing role-playing. Um... I like doing role playing a lot. It's just a lot of the servers are. I don't want to say toxic because it's. I mean, it's kind of accurate because, like, a lot of them go on power trips and stuff. And it's just not fun when they get like that. Because the whole point of RP is to have fun, not, you know, ruin everything. There are some good servers out there. A lot of them are, like, uh, whitelist only. Which I was a part of a whitelist server, but. Um, I just got tired of the server. Like, I like serious RP and stuff, but some of them just take it, like, way too far. To the point where you're expected to be on there a lot, and... It kind of doesn't account for people that have, like, working lives and stuff. Oh, I already filled up my inventory. That's amazing. Getting all these rocks. I do not have any room for the copper. I wonder what the bone fragments are used in. I'm not even sure. I can't pick it up, really. Uh, that's not good. It's always lovely when you have a full inventory. But it's okay. I got plenty of bat wings already, so I don't really need any more of those. Uh-oh, look at all the skeletons here. And nice, more quartz. Also, what's everybody up to today? Anything fun going on? I bet that's going to be coal. I knew it. I'll get rid of a gold nugget for that. Also, some of the music in Stardew Valley is, like, really calming. I love it. Hmm. Down we go. Let's see what we get. Firewalker boots. That's fancy. I'm gonna give up the quartz to the three gold trash can there. Got some new boots. Everything's starting to sound really weird. We need a fire quartz, though. That's not a fire quartz, but okay. We should be able to get the fire quartz soon, I would think. Uh, oh, fiber. Death. Let's see what we got. I think that's probably gold. 
Yes, that is gold. At least I get a little bit of money for all this junk. Okay, so that's a little bit further down. I love that I got this bone sword. Because it does so much better. Oh wow, that is a full... I kind of need all this junk. I won't get rid of that because I need the solar essence. I need that, that dark one right there too. Mm. I'll get rid of the geo for that. And I want that gold bar too. I don't know what the bone fragments are for, but I got some at the house. Oh, what is that thing? That thing hurts. Oh, wow, that... Um... Oh, wow, that really, really hurt my character. I did not expect that much. I might have to leave them on as much as I don't want to. My character about died there. So, I'm better safe than sorry. Only good thing is I got a whole bunch of stuff for the, um, the community center. And I think, yeah, tomorrow's when the day's reset for the gifts. So then we can give away more gifts. I kind of need a fish for another thing to make for Sabrina. The sashimi or whatever. Sadly, she cannot use blackberries. That would be nice. Which one's which? Field researcher? No. Wait. Ah, oh, that sucks. I had that geode earlier. Oh, still need to put an earth crystal in there. Did I already do the other ones? I think I may have already done the other ones, you guys. Yeah. That's, um, surprising. Let's go put the corn in the bundle thingy, though. Spring crops. I think it's fall. Yeah. And the artisan... That's pretty neat. So you basically, um, it's kind of like an incentive to do it that way. That's, that's really cool, actually. Well, at least we'll be able to start doing more Sabrina content in just a few minutes. Because as you see, I got her to eight hearts, so. Oh, I understand that. Sometimes it can be awkward doing situations like that, but, you know, they're there to help you and stuff, so. Let's put the fence in there, too. Time to get that mayonnaise. I just love how the farm's, like, slowly coming together and stuff. Did they, these really just all got done at the same time? That's hilarious. Um, get the gold ones out. 
So there we'll have two at least. Seven hundred and twenty three gold, which is really nice. And I'm glad she was sweet about it, you know. It's always good when people have um good people skills. It's not my strong suit, but it's neat that a lot of people do have that as a strong suit. Alright, so let's go check on our uh, nothing down at the tree. I'll go in here real quick and go to our cow. I don't know how you're supposed to... Uh, there's supposed to be a part of the mod that lets you breed the cow. Like, um... Or something like that. I just don't know how to access that. Otherwise, I would have the cow pregnant already. Up. We do have some stuff down here, though. I don't know if I were putting Pontar in the community center thing or not. It's bad that I can't remember that stuff, but sometimes it happens. Did I ever make it get a cheesemaker? I did not get a cheesemaker. I really kind of don't want to use the hardwood to make it. Let's see. Oops, wrong thing. Oh, the copper bar. My bad. Um, that, that, that. I don't even know if I really have room for the cheese maker inside. Kind of don't. <laughs> Wonder if I can put it over here. Yes, I can. It makes me feel better. I can at least put it in the kitchen. And I did not put the egg in the mayonnaise maker. I also gotta still go fish. Because I have no sashimi to give uh, Sabrina. So we're gonna have to take care of that. Thankfully it's not hard to make sashimi after you become friends with Linus and have the level 2 house. Unfortunately Sebastian slash Sabrina is one of the slower um, romances to start with in my opinion. Because they stay in the room a lot of times, so it's hard to catch them outside of the room. And then the gifts, you have to go in the mine to get quartz for a semi-decent gift. And then to get a good one, you have to unlock the sashimi first, which can take a minute. Or at least in my experience, it takes a minute because I'm not the best at this game. Yeah, I noticed hers is kind of rough. Um, I had problems when I went to try to do a request for her. It was just a pain in the butt. I'm gonna catch two fish and then we're gonna take them back to make sashimi. So we at least have our two gifts covered for the week. Oh, that's pretty neat. I want to try to get that gift, but I'm not gonna be able to get it. Okay. Yeah, I know there was another romance I did that they liked pizza. So all I did was kept buying the pizzas and stuff. Um, I can't remember which character it was that liked the pizza, but... It may have been a modded character. I couldn't even remember, to be honest. It's been so long. We're gonna head back inside. 
And we're gonna go to our kitchen here. There's the sashimi. Yeah, I feel that. It is hard to find people. That's why I got the mod that allows me to um, see where everybody's at. It makes life a lot easier. Especially when you're doing like a Twitch stream. You don't want to spend like the whole day just looking for the person and stuff. Yeah, it's probably, um, I don't know. There's no telling. With me, there's literally no telling, so. And I don't even remember if it's like their favorite or not, but I just remember they like pizza and that was the easiest way to give them stuff to level them up. What? Why am I smelling? Maybe that's because you're here. I think that's probably going to be one of the um, the lines, maybe. That's all she said today. We are at nine hearts. Let's go see old Linus. We're going to give him a mushroom. I think it would be a good idea to give Linus a mushroom. Where in the world is he? Yeah, it probably is a modded line. Because um, it seems a little too enthusiastic for what Sebastian would say. Because I think Sebastian would say something like, I'm glad you're not dead or something like that. Because he's very uh, depressed. Poor dude. Chop down this tree. I think... I'm going to upgrade my axe because I got like a ton of iron and stuff. I just don't have a lot of, um, my main restriction is always gold. So, also, Lisa Snow, do you ever play Grand Theft Auto or anything like that? I know you don't play it on computer, so you wouldn't have like much experience with the RP scene. Oh, there's crazy Haley. I've never been to the forest this muddy and I could get a blister on my foot. I mean, yeah, you could, I guess. I'm also really grateful for all the people that have followed me and stuff, and even people that just watch. Oh, nice. Well, if you ever want to play Grand Theft Auto RP, let me know. We can probably find a server to play or something. We don't even have to stream it, just I, it's something I enjoy doing. I was wanting to get a, a Grand Theft Auto RP server at some point myself, I just hadn't had time to deal with it. Because, uh, I just don't have a lot of time in general anymore. It, it kind of sucks. But it's okay. Um, we're going to take this back up there to the thing. And also, it's no problem. Um, Grand Theft Auto RP can be a good or bad experience. I think it would be nice to have, like, a, own, like, a server that we can play and stuff. Because um, some of these servers... A lot of, there's some good, really good servers out there, but there's some of them that are just, uh, they have a little bit too much toxicity, I guess. And I, I don't really use that word often, but like, I guess it's just like people that go on power trips and stuff. I think it's just terrible. And also I passed the destination I was going. Okay. So which one has the animal bundle? Was it the crops? this arson yeah here's cheese there's one that has a uh, animal 
And yeah, you're right. Um, it's just about how much. There's the animal bundle. Wait, is mana is not one of them? Oh, that's lame. Can I not do mayonnaise in this? Oh, sad day. Why the hell did I make mayonnaise in? Yeah, there was an old game that I used to play back in my younger days, um, CSGO. And I've learned that, like, CSGO was a... I don't know about how it is now, but there was some interesting people on that game. And I don't mean in a good way. I mean, they were just kind of odd and uh, toxic in certain situations. There were some good people on there, though. Just a lot of uh, crazy individuals. Uh, that makes sense. It, it was kind of bad back in the day, but it's kind of really bad now. And I love how I didn't go and uh, get the iron out for the upgrade. You can tell I pay attention a lot. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of how it was back in the day, too. Especially if you're any good at it. Um, because I remember one day they got mad because, um, how oh, cool, I got a crap hot. Um, there was like a team deathmatch, kind of like how it has in Call of Duty. And it's basically, you're supposed to do the objective, but if everybody dies, you automatically win too. Because it's like a one-time thing, you're dead thing. And, um, well, I clutched like most of the team. Like I ended up taking down like four or five of them, so... They did not like that at all. I just got kind of burned out on those kind of games because I play, used to play Call of Duty and stuff a lot when I was younger. I say like when I was younger, I just mean like about like five years ago. Getting all these eggplants. I'm going to put the gold star and silver star in there. I guess I can do all of them. What kind of game is Valorant? Is it just like a, a first person shooter also? or Because I, I don't think I've ever heard of that game to be honest. There's one game I got I've been wanting to play called Zomboid. Um... Somebody I know talked me into it, so. Oh, wow. That's, um, that's kind of interesting perspective, to be honest. Also, I still love the chicken named Bob. Come on, controller. All right, so let's go give our other gift today. We couldn't, I didn't see Linus yesterday, but I didn't look that hard either. <laughs> And then afterwards, we're going to take our axe to get upgraded. Because uh, I kind of needed to start um, getting more hardwood. Because I failed Robin's mission because I didn't have a high enough axe to actually get the hardwood needed. I think in like a video or a stream or two ago or something like that. Maybe it's two or three. I'm not even sure. Uh, so characters have, like, unique abilities and stuff. I mean, that sounds like a cool game, to be honest. I've been trying to get, um, Fallout 4 VR working correctly. I've been having some problems getting that, um, first-person body set up. But I think I may have figured out what it is. And it has to do with the Calibrate. Let's see what she says. 
Lucy, sorry if I smell like cigarettes. Maybe I should wear something to mask the smell for you. I think, I don't know if that's a unique line. I think Sebastian actually used to say that too. So, I don't really have the space for it either. Um, I can use direct movement in most cases because it doesn't really um, affect me. Like uh, nausea and stuff. Linus, what in the world are you doing back here? Here you go, Linus. You're welcome for the great gift. He's six stars now. Six hearts. Um, but yeah, so like what I would do, I just use analog sticks pretty much. Sometimes I would lay on my bed while playing and stuff. But I also got a standing set up. And I got this little pedal exercise bike thing. So in certain cases, um, I can use it to pedal and stuff. And I like to use it while playing Grand Theft Auto RP to exercise. And motion sickness sucks. Um, a few of my friends and stuff and people I know in general are like that. So, I, I feel that. Okay, Mayor, you're going to have to move. There we go. There's the old Joja Mart. I may buy some stuff from the Joja Mart. Hello, I need you to upgrade my axe. Oh, it's 5,000 gold? Well, that sucks. That really sucks. Alright, let's go get some uh, seeds and stuff. Let's see what they have at the Joja Mart. Oh, wow. Four views. Hello, viewers. I hope you're doing well today. Let's just get a bunch of wheat. It's quick to grow. I think I need it for the fodder bundle anyways. We're going to do 30. Screw it. It may just take us like 3 hours to water. Somebody just sent me a text message and they gonna have to wait. Alright, so unfortunately I don't have enough gold to upgrade my axe. I thought for some reason I thought it was three thousand. I had to be thinking about another game. Um let's go pick up this the materials over here. Or the scavenging materials. And I hope if anybody's having a bad day, I hope it gets better for you. Ooh, a plum. Yeah, screw it. I'm going to sell the egg. What? I love how I just literally watered. Never mind. I'm just silly. Oops. Come on. One more. Let's do up across here. Now we're going to have a wheat field, too. Okay, that would actually be really cool to see. Um, honestly, I love, like, hats and beanies and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool. 
But until the end, we're going to be chopping wood and killing trees. I'll probably stream for a while, too. Um, <laughs> there. I don't know if any of you guys out there like Persona, but there's literally an RPG maker that has a lot of parody stuff in it of uh, Persona. It's Persona 3 and Persona 4. It's called Persona No. You can find it on Game Jolt, and it's a hilarious free game. And I thought at first that it wouldn't be, like, the full game. But they, the people that made it, or the person that made it, literally put the full game into RPG Maker. Of both Persona 3 and Persona 4. And it looked like at some point he was maybe working on a female route. And I guess he gave up, maybe. Uh, Persona... Persona is based on Persona 4, which was literally um, his first one. And then the second one, which is Persona 0 or something like that. Persona O. I don't know how the best way to pronounce it, but it's pretty good. I played it like a few years back when I was at my old job and had free time, like on break. But he pretty much allows anybody to make changes to it and stuff. So there's been a lot of uh, mods and stuff. It's great. Also, I'm just kind of curious to see uh, the marriage mod on here. Like, to see if um, Sabrina changes in marriage or anything. Because it said she did in the notes of the mod. But you never know. Alright, so we're going to put our wood up and then go to sleep. Back up to 389. So we're going to put our sap in here. And then we're going to go to bed. Yeah, we only got one more heart. And Ari repaired the bridge. So... Um, on a rainy day, we can actually buy it once we get to 10, I think. Nice, we got 1,400 gold for that. I may actually need to save up for that, because I cannot remember for the life of me how much it cost. No, I don't want to eat the blackberry. And we're still going to go talk to Sabrina a little bit. Just see how she's doing. And see if she says anything weird. Because that's like the main thing I like finding out. Is if she's going to say anything just like extremely disturbing. <laughs> and I slept way too long today you guys. Um, I was playing, um, what is that game called? Uh, Fire Emblem Three Hopes yesterday. And I was trying to go through to get some special conditions that make certain things happen. And unfortunately, I messed up a few times, so I didn't get to. And, um, I was like, oh goodness. So I restarted, messed up one little thing. I restarted again. I ended up staying up to like... Two or three hours later than I normally do because of it. I was just like, I gotta get this done. Oh yeah, it's the, the festival today. Oh, that's something else I also need to do. I forgot to get an upgrade for this so I can start uh, making a chicken farm. Maybe we can work on that today. We'll see. Well, not like in game day, but today while streaming. Oh, 
I don't. Give me another one. There we go. Yeah, I still find it hilarious. I got a mod that it lets you change them into, um, <laughs> change them and everything into, uh, what is it? Chicken. Chicken, meat, and stuff. It transports them to be with the aliens that have a lot of, uh, a lot of <laughs> meat trees, which is just hilarious. I'm going to sell these two. Let's see, do we have anything down here on the pine tree? No. I need to see about making one of those for um, a maple tree or something. Cut down some more trees, get some more wood to do that. So I guess we're going to go to the event too. I forgot that... Uh, the events has some special dialogue sometimes, so I probably need to do that for you guys and stuff. And for myself to find out, you know, if she's going to say anything weird. Did I already take care of all that? Yeah. I agree, they are really pretty trees and stuff. Let's see what we got going on. There's a shop here. Okay, now it's letting me move. Hello, Mayor. The Stardew Valley Fair. I, I don't want to... Oh, food and stuff. Ooh. Oops. A tourist. The bus ain't working. I don't know. Um, hello there, buddy. What if I don't like him? Yes, I am having a good time, Sam. Slingshot 10 is pretty fun. Do you need help winning any of the games, my love? I'll do anything you ask. I'm pretty sure that's a custom line. Can I buy some star tokens? I don't have any tokens, man. We're gonna get like 10. Say if we win. This game cheats. It cheats, I tell you. It cheats again. Okay. I'll trust you on this one. Let's see what it does. Green. I do not want to use that many. Watch it land on orange this time. I knew it. I knew it. This game does not like me. I wonder why it's like an 80% chance to land on green. Yay, I won. I'm sorry about the Facebook message. Really? It was so close. 
forgot to turn off Facebook, so we're going all in. And if we lose this, I'm just out. Nice, we won. Yeah, I don't know um, why the percentage would be like that. There's got to be something behind it. I just don't know. I'm not good with stuff like that, honestly. Nice, we won again. I'll probably lose this one. I'm on... Okay, I'll bet three. I did not mean a bet odd number, but... Oh, we still won. Never mind. This game, it, it's been weird. It needs to uh, go to the orange so I can do green again. Okay, this is going to keep winning. I don't even know if there's anything good I can get in return, but uh, we're going to try it and see. Yeah. It's kind of like that with stock market, too. Um, like, if you win big on the stock market in terms of getting, like, a lot of money back in a year, you can take half of the thing, like, that equals up to your... Like, if you get a 50% gain or whatever, which doesn't happen a lot, but it does happen sometimes, um, you can take that and put it back, invest it, and then take your money out. And then whatever your taxes are and stuff. Okay, so... What can I win on this, anyways? I'm not even sure, like, what prizes there are. Come on, green. Wait, wait. I won't be doing this too much longer, you guys. I'm just kind of doing it for the heck of it. Let's see what we can go get with this. Can I buy a fishy? I want to I wanna fish. getting all that seaweed and stuff. I wonder if there's any special fish here. You darn fish. Oh, yeah, the star drop. I think I have a seed for that. I need to check into the seed maker. I forgot about that, to be honest. Also, it's fun just fishing sometimes. And that's something else you can do in uh, Grand Theft Auto RP is fish. That's a really popular thing in a lot of things. Some, some do it for money and then some do it for fun. It's not a good RP experience, but it's still fun in general. Oh yeah, the star fruit. I forgot about that. Yeah, that would actually be very useful. We're at 105. I don't even know what a good score is in this. But we can win big. I won 122. I don't know. No perfection bonus. That's decent. 144 star tokens. What can I buy with this? No, I don't want to do that. Where? Oh, here's the shop. Never mind. I'm slow. Uh, 
Wow. Well, hold on just a minute, you guys. It seems like we still gotta get some more stuff. Green we go. 250 coins. This is gonna be the time it goes orange. Oh, oh, thank goodness. I appreciate you saying that. I do act like it sometimes, though. Not intentionally, it just kind of happens. Oh, we just lost. I bet too much on that one, to be honest. Come on, slow down, slow down. At least it got green that time. Two hundred. Yeah, we kind of need that star fruit, so I need a minimum get that. But if this thing pays off, it should be a little bit easier. Oh, I hit the orange again. This game does not like me. We're just going to go all in. If we fail, we just fail. It only cost me 3,000 gold for this thing. Come on, 206. Yeah, fair point. I'm just gonna do 200 again until I hit an orange, and then I'm gonna go all in. I don't know why this is so much fun. I just love doing stuff like this. Save 250. Okay, we got arms, so we're going in 600. And if for any reason we fail, that's okay. Because, uh, we'll just go on home. Woot woot. We got a good chunk there. Do 500 this time. Or 600, I guess. Oh wow, we hit it again. I appreciate you saying that. You're really kind of elusive now. Really, really kind. gonna do like 126 this time. I just have a feeling it's gonna go on orange. I feel like it's gonna go on orange. I'm not sure if it will, but I just, I don't know. I feel like there's an orange coming up. So we're gonna get a few thousand, a few more thousand to get all the stuff we need, and then we're gonna go home and do our thing. Come on, green. All right, we're gonna do 500 this time. Or 600 or whatever it puts on us. I'm just using the controller, making it go over. We won again. 
Do another 500. We're getting close to the amount we need. I appreciate you guys working with me on this. Because I kind of just want to get that star drop. Stardew is a really interesting game with a lot of activities, even when it first came out. Oh no, we lost. Well, it's time to go all crazy. We're gonna do like uh, 2300, 2400, or that, 2600. Yeah, I know I can, but uh... Oh, that was a close one. Now I can get everything. And that's really kind. I appreciate you always sticking by the stream and everything and stuff. So we're gonna get everything. I got my star uh, fruit or whatever. Increased stamina. We got all the power. There can be only one. So now we got everything. I guess that's everything. We're gonna head out. Wait, I got a scarecrow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna, um... Put it down here. I kind of want to just line them up over here. Let's put it right there for the moment. And then I got a rug. And a hat. I'm gonna put the hat on. Just because I can. And, uh, I'm gonna put the rug in here. Oh gosh, I'm not going to be able to get this straight. I guess right there would be fun. Um. And this can go over here. Some pretty decorations at least. Some eggplants. All right, let's see what we got going on. Uh, got under two. I had to water all these, uh, all these deals here. Yeah, the star drop, um, I know there's one at, like, almost most of the events, I think. I can't remember. I remember at one time I was trying to collect them all. Oh, yeah. Got some more corn there, too. Did not mean to do that. All crops. So I need to put an eggplant in there anyways. Animal bundle. I have like nothing in the animal bundle. I need to do something about that. Hey, you can get rabbits? I did not know you could get rabbits. Otter bundle. I need 10 wheat. Um, some more dot hack at some point. I just haven't played it very much lately to grind it out. I figure it'd be more fun to play more Stardew at the moment. We just got a regular milk, so we can't put that one in there. That's okay.
We got it. Oh, inventory's full. I'll put the ghost pepper thing in there into the uh, shipping bin. Oops, do not need to do that. I can put the corn and that in there. That, that. Alright, so we're gonna head back to the, um, what's it called? Community center. Let's uh, see how much it would cost to upgrade the chicken coop so we can start working towards that too. So we can get the incubator. I think it's the incubator in there. Hopefully I'm not thinking of another game. I play too many farming games. Don't think it's under. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Ten thousand gold. Oof. We're not gonna have that for a while, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Saying here, all crop bundle. Let's see what we got down here. Exotic forging. Yeah, here we go. I need to work on all the forging things, too. What do I got up here? Artisan bundle. Cloth and goat cheese and apples. Be like, how about them apples? That's okay. I really appreciate you stopping in. I'll probably end the stream soon enough anyways. But I, I'm always grateful to see you around, and hopefully, whenever you stream again, we can watch. Some, I can watch some stuff and everything. So, but I hope you have a good day. Let's go see what Sabra, uh, Sabrina has to say. I don't want to say Serana because I've been playing too much Skyrim. back up here. I don't even know. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah, to go see Sabrina. Oh, my lord. That's what happens when I sleep too much, you guys. Lucy, are you cold? I'll keep you warm. Come here. Okay, that's pretty basic. Oh, she's chasing after me. <laughs> that's some weird timing. But yeah, once we get to the Ten Heart and then we find a rainy day, we should be able to get um everything we need. I need to see how much it costs so I can try to get the money together or the gold. That in there, that in there, that. And we should be good. Alright, so we're going to be going to sleep now. 
And I think after this, I'll probably end the stream just after this little nap here. Um, I'm really grateful for everybody. And look, we got some new stuff. Lightning Rod, Wild Seas, and Warp Totem Beach. But, um, I'm really grateful for you guys sticking by me during gaming time and everything else. And you guys have been really cool. So I appreciate every one of you. And I hope you guys all have a good day. And, you know, stay tuned for more. Um, I don't know exactly when I'll be able to stream next, but I hope it'll be soon. Bye-bye, everybody, and have a good day.